Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of my hair transformation video. So before we get in, as you can see, my hair is a totally different color than it was from part one. As I started to wear my hair out more and the color started to fade, it turned into this orange color, which is what I did not like at all. So I ended up re-dyeing it to like this reddish brown color this isn't the color that i wanted originally so i might end up dyeing it again i don't know <laughs> but it'll do for now so yeah let's just get right into it so my hair has been dry from doing all the coloring and dyeing so i'm going to be putting a hair mask i got this mask from dollar tree it's just a regular deep conditioning mask you could use whatever mask you want and i'm just going to put that into my hair my hair dries up very quickly so i did dampen it with some water before going in and I also did shampoo and condition my hair the day before. So this isn't dirty hair. This is clean hair. <laughs> so I applied the mask in my hair. I let it sit for about 20 minutes and I rinsed it out. And this is just how my hair looks. My curls are a lot more defined as you can see, but that doesn't even matter because I'm about to comb it out anyway. <laughs> but yeah, let's just get into what you will need. So obviously you will need your hair. We're going to be doing some jumbo box braids today. So I'm using the sensational pre-stretched hair in the color 350. You're gonna need your oil of choice. I like using tea tree and also peppermint oil. You're gonna need some rubber bands. Um, I'm using this hair grease. It's a bergamot hair grease and obviously your comb. So I'm taking another comb. This is a wide tooth comb and I'm just combing out my entire hair. You want your hair to be as stretched out as possible, especially if you have short hair like mine, you want it to be stretched out as much as possible. So after I comb out my hair, I did go in with a blow dryer and blow dried it. And this is how it looks. I look crazy as hell right now. <laughs> but this is how my hair looks after I blow dried it. Also, too, I forgot to mention you're going to need some edge control and also a crochet needle if you're going to be using the method that I am using in this video. So next, I'm just taking my hair oil and applying that directly to my scalp. My scalp can become very, very dry, so I want to make sure that it's nice and moisturized. And then I'm going in with the hair grease and just using that to moisturize moisturize my entire head so now i'm just starting off by sectioning off the back of my head i'm taking a portion of my hair and sectioning it off and then i'm going to apply the edge control around the perimeter i did apply some hair oil to the rubber band so that it doesn't cause any breakage in my hair so after I apply the edge control, I'm going to take the rubber band and just tie it maybe about, I went up around maybe about like three times and then I just secured it in my head. So I'm just showing you guys again what I am doing. Just section off a portion of your hair. You want to comb your hair out so that there's no tangles in it. Take your edge control, apply it to the perimeter of the part. Smooth your hair out and then apply your rubber band maybe about two or three times. Also, when you're in the front of your hair, make sure that you leave your edges out also. And yeah, that's it. So 
So I applied all these sections to my hair and I started braiding the back portion of my hair. So now we're gonna get into the braiding process. So you wanna make sure that your ends are nice and tapered. Um, this hair that I'm using is already pre-stretched so there really wasn't much tapering for me to do. I just did it so that my braid was a little bit longer. So I crocheted the hair into the section, pulled apart one side so that one side is on one end and the other side is on the other end. And then you wanna make sure that it covers the rubber band and also that your hair is tucked in and then you just braid all the way down. I did have to do this braid over because the rubber band was showing, so don't mind this. It didn't look like this in the end, um, but yeah, I'm just showing you guys the braiding process and me braiding my hair all the way down. So you just want to keep on braiding all the way down until you reach the end of the hair shaft. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. So now we're just going to repeat the process. So crochet your hair in so that one side is on each and that your natural hair is in the middle. You want to make sure that your natural hair is covered and also the rubber band is covered. Create your three sections. So as you can see, that's section one, that's section two, and that's section three. And then you want to braid, just braid all the way down and just ensure that your natural hair is tucked in and that it's not sticking out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Altogether, this style didn't even take me more than an hour, I, maybe two hours, but this style was really, really easy. And because it's jumbo braids, it didn't take me long at all. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You just braid all the way down. And yeah. <laughs> So the braiding process is complete. I applied all the braids in my hair. Because this is pre-stretched hair, you don't have to dip it into hot water if you don't want to. It pretty much seals on its own. So I didn't even have to dip it in hot water. I'm probably gonna do it anyway, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So now I'm just applying some mousse into my hair to tame away all the flyaways so that nothing is sticking out and everything just lays nice and flat. And after I apply the mousse, <laughs> I'm just styling my edges really quickly. And I just use some edge booster edge control. And this is what it looks like. And now just to set that, I just took this ORS olive oil hairspray and just used that to set my edges in place and also my hair. And that was it.
guys so this is the final look of my hair i absolutely love how the braids turned out i'm gonna be rocking these braids for a smooth minute <laughs> but yeah this is how everything looks let me know how you guys like this look in the comment section down below if you guys want to see more videos similar to this where i transform my hair or just try out different hairstyles because i'm always doing something crazy to my hair <laughs> but just let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the comment section down below i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you all in the next video Persh. <laughs>